Hi, you are viewing the first value stream mapping tutorial ever. This tutorial will teach you the basics of the value stream mapping, and at the end of these video lessons, you will be able to draw your first value stream map. The tutorial is made of video lessons that will cover the principal elements of the value stream mapping, and in the notes of the video, you will find bonus materials. Each video is a lesson. Let us start here with the first concepts. Why value stream mapping? The main reason is that if you focus on one process and not on the whole system, your customer could not feel the difference. Focusing only on one process is like to improve only the engine of a car by leaving the wheels deflated. So to improve your company, you have to focus on the flow and the value of the entire stream, and not only on one single point. Benefits of Value Stream Mapping It is a collaborative tool, can be understood by everybody, help you to focus where it counts. You can see both material and information flow. Where to start value stream mapping? There is no point to start mapping the entire company. It is important to start where you can get results quite immediately. So, the best place to start is where a customer is unhappy or on SKUs that give the company a significant income. For example, if the company sell the SKU 1234 that generate an annual income of $10,000, and the SKU 5678 that generate $500,000, I will strongly suggest mapping the second one. Okay, now you know why to use the value stream mapping and where to start. Let me now explain to you other points. 1. Map by walking with sheets and pencil. It is not a PC exercise. Walk the shop. 2. Map yourself entirely and starting from the end of the stream. This will help you to better understand the process. 3. Do not rely on the data in the system. Look for reality. Speak with people. 4. The point of the value stream mapping is not the map itself, but genuinely understand the process looking to material and information flow. 5. Draw the current state. Do not jump to conclusions. That's everything for now. In the next video, I will describe to you the first element of the value stream map, the customer demand.